So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal ornaments for Season of the Deep. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the seasonal ornaments for the season. And for this one, we're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And I will have a video after this one where we go over all of the shaders for all of the classes. So if you guys are interested to see like how certain shaders look, I will have that video up shortly after this one. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really, really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's just get into it. To start off, we're going to be looking at the Abyssal Pelagic Armor Set for the Hunter. We're going to be looking at the Hunter Titan and then Warlock. That's how we usually do it. And I think this armor set looks amazing. I think the arms are super good. I think the boots are super good. I even think the chest piece is really cool. The only piece I really don't like, and this isn't even saying it's bad. It's just lackluster compared to everything else is the helmet. I think the helmet is a little bit lackluster compared to everything else. Not saying it's bad. Uh, it's just when you compare it to the other pieces, the helmet's just a little lacking the cloak. I actually am surprised that I like it that much surprisingly, just because I thought I was not going to like it. Um, just because I thought it was going to shader really badly to be fair. It doesn't shader bad. It's just compared to the other armor pieces. It does shader weirdly. Uh, and when I say that, I really mean like the whole cloak is basically a big glow. And for the other armor pieces, the only thing that really glow are the like fins at like the shoulder pads and then the calves that like sharp fin there. That's the only thing that kind of glows and it doesn't really have like a really big glow. You'll only notice it a few times. So that's pretty much it for the hunters. I think it's really cool. Definitely really good pieces. Titans, I'm going to be real with you guys. I think the boots are really cool. The chest piece is usable. The arms, I don't know yet. I'm just, I'm going to mess around with it a little bit more because I haven't completed the Titans or the Warlocks pieces video, which if you guys know, we usually use pieces of the armor sets and then make armor sets with those pieces. So for example, I've made pieces with just the helmet, just the boots, just the arms, and just a, pe just a chest piece for the hunters. Actually, that's I think I use the cloak and I think the chest piece in, in one whole set. But other than that, the, the boots have their own set and the arms have their own set. The helmet has its own set. So that's how I usually do it. Um, so I still have to make those videos because once I make those videos, I have a better understanding of how I feel about the armor set. But just from my first impressions, the boots I'm definitely going to be able to use. My only gripe is the boots and specifically the feet. I don't like how they're just basically shoes. They don't look like everything else. And that's like a really big problem that Titans have most of the time. Their feet just are regular boots. And I don't know why they do that. They should have just added a little bit more of that, like <clears throat> that armor piece in the boots. Just make it a part of the feet as well. I just I don't know. I think it's just lazy. Uh, the mark is fine. Uh, it's okay. I, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Uh, again, just because that's real. Like when you when when, you, when it comes to shadering, the mark is going to be the biggest piece that shaders or that glows a lot. So this will be good for pieces that have a lot of glows in it, but not necessarily just like this set. Well, to be fair, the arms also do glow. We'll see when we get to the shadering. But overall, I think. The arms and the chest and the helmet are kind of like whatever lackluster, I guess you would say. But then the boots and the chest piece are really, really cool. Warlocks, uh, I like the chest piece. Let me let me get that out of the way. I think the chest piece is really, really cool. It's just the fact that, like I said, with the hunters and the titans, is instead of the cl the class item being the super bright thing, it's gonna be your chest piece that's gonna be the super bright thing. So that's really cool because it's gonna make this whole set really cohesive where it's like all of it is going to be really glowy. And then the only thing that really isn't glowy is your boots. Uh, speaking of boots, I think the boots are really, really cool. I'm already excited to use that in like a hive theme thing because it just looks that well. The arms are, I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of the arms. I will still use them, but they're just a little too bulky for me. The mark, <coughs> the bond is pretty cool. I actually did use it in a few pieces already just because I really, really liked it. And then the helmet I'm whatever's on. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's bad. I have no really strong feeling about it. I just don't really care about it. So that's pretty much it for my opinion about the armor set. Let me know what you guys think about the armor set itself. As for how it shaders.
So let me know what you guys think about the shadering. Like I said before, the shadering is going to be a little bit weird depending on what shader you're using. For example, Cryptic Insignia looks really, really weird with it because of the color of the glow. Uh, a lot of the pieces are just going to be like really cool white and blue. Uh, and then the glow will just be this really, really turquoise, really weird off color when it comes to this, because I don't know, like personally, Cryptic Consignment is probably not the best example of it just because I've never really liked that color. So we'll go to Echo Anger instead. Echo Anger, you can tell immediately that the pieces that have the glow are a different color than the other red pieces. And that is a really good example. The Hunter is also a little bit of a better example because the hood is actually that red, the red that Echo Anger gives out. But then when you see the back of the piece and even the pieces for the Titans and Warlock, you guys will notice that it's a very desaturated red. And that's kind of like my main gripe about it is the fact that the glow makes it makes the colors just very desaturated. And that's why I'm not the biggest fan of the glowy bits, because it just takes away that too much color from the shader. That being said, I do think it looks really cool when you have shaders that completely homogenize all of the pieces into one color specifically like testudo apologies that the hunter is not synced to the other classes i don't know what happened but this is a good example of homogenizing all of the colors into one where there is still a wave you can see it on the warlocks uh robes but it does a really good job of just kind of turning off the glow to the point where it looks really good with everything else so that's what i'm talking about when i say the glow really ruins the whole armor set for me so that's really it. Uh, I will show you guys the photo finish. I should have showed you already, but I'll show you right now. It looks really cool with photo finish. Um, even the armor pieces look really, really cool, which is like, well, I shouldn't say my biggest gripe because my biggest gripe about photo finish is the cloth armor. The cloth armor, it looks really, really bad, but it looks pretty cool with the, the glowy bits. Just be aware that for the hunters, it's just the cloak that has really glowy bits. Don't again, the shoulder pads and the calves do have glow but it's not as much as i would like it to be i would like a little bit more brightness in there and i honestly i think that's just my biggest gripe about the armor set itself i just think it's too desaturated most of the time and it's just shadering a lot of it it just comes down to shadering because i the armor set itself like design wise i think looks really cool um i think the warlock helmet could have been a better better design but other than that i think the armor set looks cool I just wish it shader better and that's like my biggest gripe when it comes to a lot of armor pieces in destiny 2 is just i wish it shadered better or didn't have, have unshaderable pieces so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point Be, remember i will have the shader video up soon probably two hours after this video because that's usually how i like to do it but let me know what you guys think be safe i will see you guys later